I love if you put me on a pose, so cute. He's so cute. Cornell so Fred. <laughs> That's my name. That's my name. He is cute. What's up, DJ? No, but I will make it clear that I did write about the negotiation. But no, I no, no. I saw like you post something. It was on everybody's behalf. Yeah, I, like, I don't negotiate. I, I, reported, I reported what happened, and that was that one person, and that the rest of the protest yeah, weren't. We're Americans, we don't negotiate with teachers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I went to negotiate, I was like, we don't no. negotiate. I will communicate what you said to the group, I'm because American. I don't want you to walk over there, and they're not going to listen to you, so we're going to go mic check it, and then I'm, I'm going to let you know, but we're coming back. It was no I'm going to tell them. We, as a group, were saying. Eat what you talking about? Eat it the, the Constitution drops the local ordinance, but I don't want you to cross the street. So, you know, first line of defense is communication, second line of defense is turn up. But it wasn't. So you look back and tell him. I said, Mike Chet. And I said, What he said was, they, they, they was like, Fuck that. Okay. All right. Let me go he tell him Sir, he, he was, said. Because basically, like, the first time, the first time, he said, mama told me the first time he came up, you. he said, uh, <laughs> Get out the street. He, basically, he didn't even say nothing about the street until the very end. Yeah, so basically, he kept saying about the drum because the noise yeah. Then he said, and then of course you gotta stab the street. I was like, mm, I'm gonna go say that to them and we'll see. But that, by the time, by every time he keeps, every time he came up to talk, they stopped doing what he said. So like when he was talking, I was like, nobody's in the street. He was like, Well, yeah, I see that. So um. What the fuck are y'all talking about now? <laughs> what else? Then the second time he came back with the drum, he was like, well, you guys can't drum because that's disturbing to me. So I was like, there's no drum. He's like, well, yeah, I see that. <laughs> so, so I think now they're just like, it's a cat and mouse thing. Every time you come up, they gonna stop doing what they know that they're not supposed to. Like, I, I love it, actually, because it, it, it is wearing them out. It's wearing them out. You look at them dudes, they are tired as hell, man. Because even the first time they came up, they tried to create that, that line that they normally do. He was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. He was like, oh. Yeah. Like, like, let's sit down. We thought about this. Yeah. 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 They, they, they tired, man. Like, they were they they for reaches. You can see yeah. on their face, bro. They tired. They were tired. They just want to go home. If I had to get an IV today, I know they asked that. Because you got all that damn attire on. Yeah. With like, and you standing there with this big old glass, oppressing <laughs> people, wooden stick. Oppressing people is hard work. Oppressing people is hard work. What's your Twitter? So my people know to follow you. R E underscore I N B E N T underscore E B reinvented. Okay. Okay. What's your name on Twitter? Bella Aiko. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I follow you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Hey. I'm, we about to shake up. So, before y'all go real quick, I just want to ask y'all, did y'all know that there were like solidarity actions popping off in different places for y'all? Okay. Well, because like, well, no, because I was asking, like I asked HJ if he knew that like Oakland had a, a couple ra uh, rallies and marches in solidarity with y'all and so did LA and Boston, New York. Um, and I, I'm coming off the top of my head. The one in New York, had a couple right? That's all, I, right. That's why I'm like, I'm just coming off the top of my head. Was like, I was okay. Like, okay. I was just asking because I was like, you know, it, we appreciate that. Right. We love it. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, in addition <laughs> to checking like the Ferguson um, Twitters or hashtag and looking for updates here, that. People need to like also show you support and let you know about what's going yeah. on elsewhere. People been showing us show all over the world. Like, no, 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 no. You know, I'm even making sure that you know. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to make sure that you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like real talk. Real talk. When I saw that time Square preach, I was like, dang. Like, like it almost made a dub. I cried. Hey, 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 like, you know, like, 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 this is this is how you make a real right. face fast. I was like, yeah, trillest yeah. people in the world. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. they were like, they were like, yeah. this that's amazing. Like, it's like, it's it's like it's the, the crazy yeah. thing is, a world is looking in on this very small town and saying what in they the are doing is wrong, and they still don't see it. We got different <laughs> religions, we got different cultures, we got All different world. Right. governments, we got humanity. Was a that's a universal right thing. Yeah. Humanity yeah. is a universal yeah. thing. Yeah. These, these cats are in exile. Yes. These cats are in exile, and they came to Ferguson. When you get a yes. mom, you're not talking about. You're not talking about. You're talking about human rights. Like, like we we stood out.
out here for Mike Brown and you you suppressed my human right. First I'm an American. You suppressed all of that. You shut I'm that down. But then as a human, you said that my life did not matter. My voice was not to be heard. So like when the world turns up and you see like you see now you see what Ferguson what Ferguson has what Ferguson has done is that we're not gonna take this. If it's a situation anywhere, we standing up. We standing up. Right. Chicago, they standing up. Detroit, they standing up. Like this is, this is going to become it's gonna be, it's gonna be yellow too. Shout out to oh my God. Oh, and I'm coming back. There are people. I'm coming back. And can you can you do me a favor? Can you just send me a tweet real quick and say this is me? Because everybody's trying to find your Twitter and they can't. Okay. No, no, no. I couldn't at first. It's okay. So y'all, B E L L A K O. And it's say filming in Ferguson. That's that's me. Um. Yeah. So she about to send send a tweet to my thread, y'all. It's gonna say this is me. Oh, okay. so you'll be able to easily find her Twitter, okay? Shout out to the schools, too. Or the yeah. love, too, man. Okay. Like, that was, that was dope. That was really dope. Love. Like, everything that, that happens like that, like, it is just not, we don't take it lightly, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, in a situation like this, it's easy for you to feel like you out here by yourself in this, in this big old world. But, I mean, they, cats have made the world real small with this, this Ferguson situation no. through these social media and through live streaming and all that stuff like that. Because if it was just... CNN, oh my God. MSNBCs, and we the Foxes and all that. Yeah. Oh, been done. It'd have been dead. They would have been But here's the it'd thing. Been dead. The thing is, the live stream, it shows you, like, it shows you the, the serious tactics that they're doing 9 to 5 when they come out of this. They want to silence us completely. It's like, they're, the, the, they're not like, okay, all these PR moves to say we're with you guys, we understand that. Basically, they come out every night and they like, fuck all of that. Stuff they was talking about this morning on the press conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to turn up on y'all. And it's like you responded yesterday to 15 people standing in the middle of the street with riot gear. So one person can get responded to with riot gear. And we've never, an officer in 52 days has not been harmed by protesters. In 52 days. You want to talk about rocks being thrown or bottle water being thrown. Like you want to say all of that, you can. You want to argue that, but no officer has been hospitalized. Protesters have been hospitalized and jailed. If you can count each of these, like over 100 protesters have been arrested at this point. We're well over 100. If you count every hour that they spend in jail compared to the one dude that we all came out here to get you to lock up. Right, right. You doing all of this, millions of dollars blown in budget for one man. It's already it's it's struggling. It's already struggling. It's already yeah. struggling. He's, they need to. It's if, set if the precedent. Is, they need to set him up and just. He needs to be the sacrificial lamb. Like, give him up. Listen, you gotta take one for the team, bro. Right, 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 right bro. Give him up. Fuck you. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> take one for the team. Like, it, I mean, like, it, we know you did it anyway. It's obviously murder, but we just, we tired of trying to cover up. That's what I'm saying. We'll find you out. That's what they need to tell him. That's what they need to tell him. So basically, you just gonna spend life in jail. But we got all the Roman noodles. Right, right. We gonna do what Martha Stewart was. NFL subscription. We gonna lace you. We gonna lace you. Conjugal visit. But she's gonna be in jail. It's about precedent. But you said you did it. 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 But and they don't want to. They don't want to give the world that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why. That's why I was so angry when it first happened. Cause I was like, yeah, ain't no way. This calf in the wall. Ain't no way people did not get arrested. And we about to. And now we about to set this precedent for the whole country. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been that optimistic since like the second week. You you talking about a full blown massacre? Like here's here's the thing. Here's the thing about the, the government as we starting to understand it. You're for the people, by the people, right? You ready to almost kill all these people? All the people. To not set a precedent but that just where it says an officer will not get away with murder. That reflects because at the end of the day, I don't care what you you can argue the first shot, but when you come back with them last five, you talking murder. We have to make the distinction that white that white officer. Because the thing is, oh yeah, we got a people 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 are saying people are saying, and I, and I hate I hate hearing it, I hate, especially for people who are not out here, that it's it's not about race. 
it, it is absolutely at its core it's about it race. It's, it's, it's not about class because, because there are there are poor like white you. people who don't get treated the same way or don't have the same rules of engagement that even affluent black people have. You know what I'm saying? You can you can even look at when we were out here the other night. You know, when the white people were getting arrested, the police were, were handling them with kitty gloves. They were walking them, holding them by their, by their arm a little bit, maybe, and, and, and politely helping them up into the truck. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me help you up. Right there. The diamond, the diamond, the diamond, get slammed. You know what I'm saying? Chocolate, oh basically, God. she got knocked unconscious and basically hogtied. I, I, that's, that was ridiculous. You you look at, at the lost voices, and these are, you know, people who were nonviolent. Even even the other night when, you know, all the way, you know, they got arrested with everybody. They got just walked over there. Most, if not, I don't even, I didn't even see any white people get put into the, um, the, the, the zip ties. But the one little dude who was out here on the street, they dude had his knee in, a, in that dude's back. I got a picture of it too. You know what I'm saying? And dude is not, he's not even, he's not even saying anything. He's not even saying, get off me. He's not saying, he's not exactly. we were chanting, he's not resisting. They did not move. They do. They did not treat the white people the same way. And that's why it's the issue of race, because white privilege allows them to be in the same situations with black people, but not get the same treatment as black people. It was still a distinction when they arrested the long voice. They should, and the other, I don't remember what her name is, but there is like a dark skin one and a light skin one. And listen, one. and people yeah. think I'm wild for saying that, but there is a such thing as light skin privilege. Period. There's a such thing as light skin privilege. It's like, well, why do you wear the more privilege you get? If, if you can have if, 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 well, let's keep it out. Let's keep it real because you know back in the day, if you was fucking massive, you know what I'm saying. You had the good job. You know what I'm talking about. Your life, your kids was like that's why. That's why the niggas in the field didn't rock with niggas in the house. Yeah. Right. They're arguing right. systematic racism because this is a system that existed when that was okay. We would never broke this system down after slavery. We never broke this system down after the civil rights movement. These are the same people. These are their grandkids. All these people coming out, and it's like you have this same oppression. And when, as we evolve as a culture, but you have this same oppression, you get all this moment. Because we're tired. To be, to, I've never gotten a ticket. I've never been arrested. But I've, he, that guy, that day that we were out here, he yelled to incite all the officers to grab me. She has warrants and grabbed my shirt because you've seen me so much. You're exhausted and you're fed up with me as a person. Like, my rights don't matter. But if we talked about taking y'all guns away, that's the problem. Oh, baby. Oh, Second Amendment rights. Oh, oh, oh no. baby. When Second Amendment rights, it's all, it's the whole world, it's the whole country turning up. When you're talking about the ability to stand on the street corner at any hour and say, Mike Brown means we got to fight back. You telling me that I deserve to go to jail for that? Even John Crawford in Ohio, they have an open carry law. They can carry right. We do too. And that man got right, shot right. behind the door. The thing is, it's, it's, an issue, it's, 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 an issue, it's an issue of race. The rules of engagement are different. The rules of engagement, even for a black officer, is different than how he can deal with a black person and a white person. You will never see, ever, 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 ever see a case where a black officer officer kill an unarmed white kid. It won't happen. Because when you come when you come into a situation where you have a black suspect, it's always perceived danger regardless. Whether whether they're being hostile or not, it's always gonna be since the, you know a feeling of they're being hostile, they could get hostile real fast. So I'm gonna neutralize them before we can get to that level. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, it was most definitely rape failure. They're saying that a lot of the women who were like in the house were getting raped, and so it wasn't all peaches and cream. But that's not what we're saying. We're saying that their their children is a product in a very racist society that's consumed with skin color. You feel they make them feel safer. Why you think our first black president is half white? Exactly. Stop. That's not, that's not a coincidence. Not, if he, if he, and the fact that he was raised by white people. Let's not get it twisted. Right. Barack, Barack Obama, he 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 is he is he, he's not really a black president. He, if, if we're being a hundred percent honest, a hundred percent honest, Barack Obama gets a pass on being the, the first black black president because of his immediate family, because of Michelle and his children. Yeah, that's the image that we that we want to see. Like 
that, that was what made people excited as a black person to see a black family in the White House. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he is fair skinned, the fact that he was raised by white people, <laughs> plays a large role. And even then, even with all that going for him, you know, white people still don't really want to accept him. Not, I'm not saying all white people, but, but still white people. But in majority, he's the most they, criticized they hate president. Him. He does the same shit he the rest still, of them. He gets, right. he gets more he death threats. He gets more death threats exponentially they, more than any president who's ever, They let the right. media talk ever so bad about him. Oh, it would be treason. Anybody you remember, else? If you remember the first couple of years that Barack Obama was the president of the United States of America, People had to make conscious efforts on 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 mainstream media to refer to him as a president. Yeah, they, I they, remember they, they all were just saying Barack Obama, Barack Obama this, Barack Obama that. But when, when but when Bush was when he was a president, it was President Bush every time. Whether, whether they whether they liked Bush or not, it was President Bush every time. It got it had it was a time where people who were pro Obama supporters who were on these newscasts had to stop and straight make a point to say president. president obama you know what i'm saying because it's like bruh just respect him for who he is he, 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 listen bush, bush stole the election you know what i'm saying bush stole the election barack obama won in a landslide you know what i'm saying but it's we gave bush like more credit crucify him for doing a uh, salute with the coffee cup in his hands bro you see that bush had a whole puppy in his hand exactly he had a whole puppy in his hand like this wait i can't i i got y'all a little bit but you know what I, if anything you even mad if he does he get off that's the most american thing you can have in your hand is a starbucks cup <laughs> i got it because he's saluting with a cup in his hand <laughs> my thing capitalism well, if you support Starbucks, you support the Israeli occupation in Palestine. Let's first say that. That's America. I know. No, 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 no. I'm not negating what you're saying. I'm just like, let's add that background. You know what I'm saying? But let me. Can I ask y'all a question? Um, do you guys think? Do you guys think that it is the death threats, or do you think that it's because Obama can't fit the definition of African American? Why he doesn't do? more for the African-American community. And wait, wait, what I mean by that is that as African-Americans that can trace our bloodline to slavery, we don't know if we was Kenyan, we don't know if we was Rwanda, et cetera. His father's from Kenya. There we go. So, <laughs> here's my take on that. So what was the question? So my question is, do you think, do you think it's the death threats or the fact that he can't really identify with the black struggle in America Genetically, gotcha. like you saying, gotcha. because his upbringings with white resources, etc., gotcha. or is it because of death threats? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's my question. <laughs> that's my question. Here's my take on that. Okay, being that he is a figurehead in a system of oppression, regardless of his affiliations, regardless of how he feels, regardless of how he identifies himself, he will never, regardless of his intentions, be able to counteract that. Even if he wanted to do something, he would not be able to because the whole system is built around not being able to. No, regardless of if you're in power, um, well, not even in power, because he's a figure. Like I said, right. there are people controlling him, then he can't do what he needs to do. They were willing to shut the whole government down. Shut it down! They shut the whole damn government down, Shut it down. just to say, fuck you, black man. So to think that even if he wanted to step up, he wouldn't be able to. You can see it in his face. The man has been defeated. He came in thinking he was going to change some shit. He can't change shit. I believe. He thought. And like, that's, why, that that's why I feel like when people come with this, well, we need to put our people in. We need to shut this shit down and rebuild. You gotta level this shit out. Oh my god. How many times have I said we need a complete breakdown and restructure? Yes. yes. You can't build patches like, on foundation like? problems. <laughs> it don't what work that like? way. How do we how do we get there? You know what I'm saying? If, uh, yeah. if we're being honest, we we will never ever it's, live in a post racial society like nope. Not here. We it's, it's not no, not in America because this country is built on violence and it's it's built on hate and it's built on racism. It's built on the back. Hey, you, got you know what I'm saying? Not you just black America people, America. but natives, everybody. It's the built on it. So there's no way for us to really get away from it if we're being realistic. The thing is, like, for instance, my problem with, 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 with President Obama, and for the record, 
I'm I, I one of those people that, that feel like, you know, I can talk about him, but other people not gonna talk about him crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know how you got people in your family. You got your drunk uncle. You know what I'm saying? Think he's such a drunk, he get a like me to job or whatever. But then let somebody else, you better talk about my uncle, bro. I beat you know what I'm saying? So let's get that out the way first. But the thing is, like, like you said. It's not that his, his color, he does not identify with what it means to really be black in America. You know what I'm saying? Like really, to be honest with you, I don't feel like he's really getting it until now. You know what I'm saying? As he's as he's seeing how people are responding to him now, I think he's really he's really feeling more of the hate now than he ever did. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm at the Black Ivy League. Right. But the, the thing that the thing that that, that, that that first makes me about about Barack Obama is that he did have great plans coming in. He did have great plans. We can use, we can use a good example like uh, 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 Obamacare. And I say Obamacare now because I know that, you know, uh, conservatives and people who are against the president say Obamacare like a slur. Mm -hmm. But give it give it about five or six years, they won't call it that anymore because they, they, they're they not going to want his name to be associated with it because I feel like it's, it's going to be a beast. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to be like, but, he didn't do that shit. We did. Right. They're, they're going to call it something else, but they'll never call it Obamacare after that point. But the original plan he had for it was such a beast. Like, it was, it was great. You know what I'm saying? But then he made all these concessions. He took all this stuff out. He changed all these different aspects of it to appease people across the aisle and then nobody across the aisle voted for it. not one person you know what i'm saying so now we got this watered down joint and you don't even feel the effects of it to be honest with you for most people but my thing is he he made he tried to be too nice to people across the aisle, to people who are contrary to him, to people that are going to hate him regardless of what he does. No matter what type of success he has, and, and, and it, I don't even know how you measure success, but regardless of what type of success he has, people are going to hate him for who he is and not for really the job that he's doing. So my thing was, when he, his first time, I was like, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he, got, he, got, he got to get reelected. But once he got reelected, and I'm like, like, Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's, it's time to go ahead and start really, you know, saying, you know, forget what people are talking about and just doing his own thing. Cause Say it's your last time. Right. Listen, you're going to be rich as shit listen, from just speaking to people after this. Like every other president. And <laughs> right. Him more so than others because of, you know, the role he played in history. But the thing is, like, like this cat. I don't know how to explain it without being too. Yeah, look, we don't have to get into the specifics of the Obamacare. Like, that's yeah, a whole nother not, not issue. Even, all. Not even Obamacare. Yeah. But, but, okay, like, the thing is, the thing that I appreciated, no, I telling them. the thing that I appreciated about Bush, and I, and I, and I, and I, I hated Bush, you know what I'm saying? But what I appreciated about him was that whether something was right or wrong, if he believed in it, he made that thing happen. Yeah. He didn't care who supported him. He didn't care who was behind him. He didn't care who who opposed him. He was like, "Listen, this is what I want to happen." Beat us. <laughs> and this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> but he was also in a different position though, than Obama. With Obama being the first black president. I'm about to say Obama daddy wasn't president before. Yeah. That's true. Like, you know what same I mean? time. Like, but we're talking about second term now. Right. Because right. he didn't have to sauce right. you no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it was like, I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta deal with me regardless. Because you're not gonna find a reason to impeach me because I'm pretty much Teflon. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, like like uh, like a small thing. Okay, for instance, Robin Williams, when he when he when he died. I know he does. This cat Barack Obama, Man. President Obama, had a statement on deck. Like right. immediately. Yeah. Immediately, as soon as, as soon as it was announced, that cat was out there. Oh man, he meant so much to the country and blase, blase, blase. But when this situation happened out here, it's like, bro, how long is it, it gonna take for you to say something? Completely like a puppet. Exactly. Because like, like that's what I, I was watching the, I was watching the dress. I was like, okay, okay, all right. I'm like, yeah. all right, here all come. right, all right. Here it come. Let me put my clothes on. Bro. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, bro, like you let us, like it, 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 it seemed like. What's his name? Like, what you really want to say, coward. sorry, my niggas, coward. it's all I can do right now. Yeah. I can't do nothing is, else. And listen, I understand that he's not the president of black people. Right. <laughs> I understand that. He's the president of the United States of America. I understand that he has to represent the whole country. I understand that. But, 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 man, 
give the same amount of attention to the stuff that we care about. And don't care if they say that you, you know, like if they feel, oh, well, he now he's catering to black people. No, 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 this has never happened. Saying, but the thing is, the, the perception is, if he gives us the same amount of attention that he gives white people, that he cares about our situation more. Right. And that's because historically, we haven't had anybody who gives us even right. a, a, a moderate amount of attention compared to what white people care about. You can't take the level up anymore, then all of a sudden you're a radical. You're a radical president. I just yeah. being a human. I don't want to be three-fifths of a person anymore. <laughs> you hear me? I did that shit. I thought we took care of that already. I'm trying to be a whole citizen here. All I want is my rights according to the Constitution. Right. But that, you, don't have to, you don't have to like me. Matter of fact, you can hate me because I'm black. Right. That's fine. But give but, me my but, rights. But you're going to respect me, and I'm going to have the same rights as as his white dude sitting next to Because I don't have to you know deal with saying? you. That's fine. We don't even have to There's interact it. with each other. To it, be totally exactly. honest. They I'm sound like uh, Stokely Carmichael in a, now. <laughs> integration <laughs> it set us back. It really did. Bam. Oh. Forward. Stokely Carmichael is coming out, y'all. I said the shit Y'all killed him, but you, you know didn't why? kill his ideas. Can I add something to that? What's up? Integra you know what integration did to us? It ripped apart black community. That? Because when we when we had that night of protest and they had the they had the curfew, mm -hmm. that was the strongest sense of black, solidarity. Solidarity amongst blacks. Because it's like beforehand you would never think of robbing another black. But let me never. tell y'all this about because St. Louis we real quick. Let me tell you this about St. Louis. St. Louis is full of haters. Thank like you. I was, when I, I tell it you I it the love that we received that first week after Mike Brown died and we all Man. got tear gas like we was in a fucking another country somewhere. And let me let me be The love specific. that we received, we've never seen no shit like that. Right. The way we came together, we never received. come together hey, like that. It's Ever. It's we leave that shit behind. Tonight, tonight I don't know none of y'all. Exactly. <laughs> and I love all of y'all. Like before now. Like just St. Louis, we have we have the type of mind state where if I don't know you, I'm not rocking with you. Yep. Don't even exactly. don't even I'm don't even, my bad. Don't even speak to me. You. you know what I'm saying? Simply like it's, even on some cordial, like don't ask how. But that's systemic to keep us from anything. becoming exactly. in a community. Exactly. We have learned to view each other as the same threat that they see us as. Right. But, but, but thing is, though, it, it goes across the board though. It's not just amongst black people. White people do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just St. Louis. We like that. But amongst black people though. St. Louis, and I know it's, it's a worldwide <laughs> epidemic, but I know out here, like, we hate each other. Yeah, like, straight up, like, we don't, we, don't want, we don't want to see the next man come up unless I'm coming up with, with you, you, or I I'm going to be able to up. eat off your plate. Right. Or, or, you or so you I can say, you right, or, or I, can, I, I got a favor invested in you now, so I'm going to get that back. Right. Exactly. That's the only time we care. Other than that is, I don't want to see this cat come up, you know what I'm saying, because I'm trying to eat. But... This situation here, though, has galvanized us together. Like it was like that. That was the most moving thing about the whole movie. That's what moved me. Is because when we were out there with sports, and it was sounds like I go out there, it'd be like ten o'clock in the morning, and it'd be you know a hundred people out there or whatnot, people I don't know, and we just sit down and start chopping it up, like on the humble. I don't even know your name, but we just rapping for like a good fifteen, you know, twenty minutes. Right before, if, if somebody sit down, sit down next to me. I thought he was going to give you me a bubble. You're in my bubble, my bubble. <laughs> <laughs> right. like, you're in my bubble, dog. Let me, let me get that. You know? Right. So, I I'm definitely, right that's one aspect I can of the whole situation where I feel like, you know, St. Louis just came together on that whole, on this whole situation. Like, and that, and that shit was so it's, beautiful. It's love. It, that it, it really is so love. It, it, and it, I love y'all for this lady. that. Thank y'all for that. Everybody that came to St. Louis to show us love, Real we talk. love y'all back. Real talk. Real talk. Y'all family to us. Real talk. Y'all family to us. Like the people, my, my folks who came from Chicago, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all got me ready to move down here. Like my auntie and them, <laughs> my auntie and my cousin and them staying unincorporated. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. it's not like I don't have no roots down right. here. Right. Um, but y'all got me ready. To, because, but you know what it is though? Because I need to be where the revol revolution is. And, I and I'm like serious because I'm I'm tired. I'm exactly as tired as y'all. You know what I mean? Like, no, I wasn't here in Ferguson. No, I didn't know Mike Brown. But. Uh, I, I, I didn't know Mike Brown, right. but I know Mike right. Brown. But exactly, we, we all know, know a Mike Brown. We know a Mike Brown, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I also know that my brother and my son could also be Mike Brown, Trayvon Martin, Oscar yeah. Grant, Alan Blue for John Crawford, right. Ethel Ford. You see what I'm you saying? saying? Like we can just keep yeah. the list going. And the fucked up part about that is the majority of the names that have been listed were in the past few months.
Not, right. you know, that's just I can think of off the top of my head. That's not like some shit over the, the course of the decade in America. Like, this is some. 50 years. It's like, no, this is recent. You know what I'm saying? And then there's only the ones that we know about. It's all the ones that happen that we don't even know about. So I'm like, people don't understand that. There's no law that says that police have to report any of their fatal shootings. They don't have to report that shit. They don't have to keep track of that shit. No, it's left up to the family and friends of the people. And if they have the ability to reach out to people and draw attention to that shit. Too, exactly. To reach out to people. But and then, and that's when it becomes once again a race and class yep. issue. You see what I'm saying? Like, poor and it, vulnerable. Exactly. Right. <laughs> it's still, but still, it's primarily. You might disagree. It is. It's primarily. Above all else. No, and I agree with that because I'm not saying that there is no intersectionality for all of the people who are watching exactly. my stream who are not who are not black. Exactly. What I am saying, once again, to saying, clarify. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, oppressed. what I'm saying is, is that. If you are LGBT person, LGBTQ, that's completely fine. But if you are black LGBTQ, you see what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm, that's why I'm like, I'm not saying that people are not being oppressed. I'm not even saying that you are not oppressed under the same system with the same tactics that have been happening. What I am saying is that first it was the indigenous people of this country, then it was black people, and then after that it was this, then that, whatever. But they never stopped. No, it's a psychology. They never stopped. You know what I mean? This is how their minds are set up, and that's a problem. And how do you change somebody? Like that? You that's, don't. That's what I'm you step understand. away from that shit. I don't want to sound like think, like 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 I'm, like I'm hopeless or something like that. But I'm just I just want to be real with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't I think don't that. <laughs> somebody said I had rich white people staring at me today as I waited for food at the food bank. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. Like I'm saying, it, it is an issue of, of, of class to, on a certain on a certain level. But it is base. It is about race, especially this situation in particular. Especially just you if you look back at all of, all of these police killings, killings that happened this right summer, now. that would not happen with a poor white person. No. They just Point blank, poor. period. Now, am I saying that they're not hated for being poor? No. I'm not saying that. We're all because, hated for Because America hates poor people. <laughs> <laughs> Even though America, by and large, is low, we were poor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, 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 keep it 100, I'm working class poor. Like a mother. Period. You know what I'm saying? I'm one breakdown away from this. <laughs> 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 My car broke down one more time and I'm broke. I ain't got shit <laughs> <laughs> and one <laughs> I can't lie but, to you. But that's real like, talk. I'm but at the lying. same time, you know, I said, I said, you it's the hate special. is different for so black true. people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even even rich black people are hated. So here's the thing for being black. Let me say this about point that. One. About that point right there. Somebody has to feel better than somebody else in this country. <laughs> so even if you're poor, well, you're still white. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are people, there are people that uh, that are worse off than me. I'm just poor. Right. It's so you gotta hate somebody. It's, 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 everybody. But you, know but you know what? But that's why. But you know what? But you know what? But you know what? But that's why capitalism is so effective, right? Because now uh, it's not just about race. What about it is. No, because it's not just about race. Now you know, it's the competitivity, okay. competitive level, right? And so in order for me to be better, I got to be better than you, I which mean, means right. I need you not to survive yep. so right. that I can be successful. But, you see what I'm saying? So we don't have community. Right. Isn't there also, there's also the we point of, individual. of selective memory, all right? So like... Never forget! When, when I was, when we had that uh, down there by the pizza place, I talked to the, the people over, uh, across the street because I just like talking to random people that's, that don't believe what I believe. And this lady, she's like... I never knew racism existed in St. Louis like this. I was like, okay, keep talking. I said, keep talking. Say that again. She said, I never. She never knew racism was an issue in St. Louis. Who said that? This this white, white lady. They say this shit all the time. Right. Well, duh. Yeah, yeah. Racism. So I was like, so you never knew this existed. Hold on. And we racist for pointing it out. Just because I don't say niggers. We racist. We racist for pointing it out though. Never mind. You might want to get. Fuck these motherfucking cats. You know what I'm saying? Fuck these motherfucking cameras when they come out. If that's the enemy, motherfucking bomb on them. Stop standing up there in front of they motherfucking shit. Well, if don't nobody film it and put it out, won't nobody know what's happening. Fuck that shit. Fuck the camera. All that motherfucking shit. It's because when they do they motherfucking shit, nigga, they spread. 
fuck that you motherfucker, she already pours down. If it wasn't for our cameras, nobody in the country would know fuck what the fuck cameras. is even happening here. Fuck your cameras, fuck <laughs> all that motherfucking shit, nigga. This real. No, like, not fuck my camera, because my camera is gonna protect y'all and put out is what the ready? fuck is happening. Is yeah, I'm ready. ready. What the fuck? Where's my shit? I'm not leaving. What you mean? Yes, I am. I'm waiting for the rest of you motherfuckers. Until motherfuckers is really ready to stand up and revolt. The only thing I'm picking up is the camera, because motherfuckers ain't got my back. So don't get mad at me. Y'all know. I'm the street too. Shit. All right. You think you're the only one? Fuck cameras. But listen, no. Fuck TVs, radios. I'm going to tell you right fucking now. If I was to go get a gun and be like, I'm going to shoot the police, motherfuckers would leave my ass to get shot by them. So I, motherfuckers ain't ready. So don't fucking tell me I picked up a camera instead of a gun because ain't nobody got my back like that. I don't give a fuck. Tell me that don't come cuss me out. But listen, though. I don't let my motherfucking baby at home to come out. Shit. He found the nerve camera to say, fuck these. No, but I'm sorry. You know what? No, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. No, wait a minute. No, on some real shit, though. On some real shit, though. On some real shit, though. And I love you, A9. You know. I do. That is uh, why would you come cuss the black fucking camera woman uh, out? Why? Why as a black man? You know I'm sorry. You know, you know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that. Yeah, my lighter. But listen, let me tell you about patriarchy. Look, I got a whole thing about patriarchy. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want them to attack you. Well, we were just talking about how shit is internalized. Why you come cuss me out? Why? Because if it, it, it is it more acceptable? Is you ready to die? Is you ready to die? Yes, I am. For what you believe. Yeah, why you think I'm here? I remember your face. So. What you think I'm here for? You here? You here? You here for that? You here for that? You could remember that. They will fucking. What you mean? You here for that? What you mean? And what you mean? I'm gonna tell you right now in your face, dude. I'm a hoe talking to a woman. First of all, don't stay in the face. Chill on that. But, oh my God. but see, my, my I'm so stupid. But listen, got listen, listen no, I'm, to be to be to be fair though, to be fair, he did come in and holler at them first. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, it was, no, it was the first fact that she stayed on that side, and, and it was crazy because he was like. If I saw a cop, I'd tell him to their face, fuck you. I was like, okay, right, where they over there? Right. I was like, right. police, right. everybody, everybody, everybody has someone yeah. yeah. And sometimes when people get that mad and that drunk, yeah. they don't know how yeah. to direct their yeah. anger. Yeah. And they just. Yeah. Well, yeah. don't listen, motherfucking come listen. do that shit with me. Let me go. Let me don't go. do that with me. Some, right sometimes you just got the wrong motherfucker because I ain't the one. Straight up. That's true. That's true. Look, I had all I want you to be told. No, don't do that shit to me. The reason, the reason why. Oh, you coming back? The reason why. Don't do that to me. The reason. Leave me a fuck alone, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, cause the the one you wanna cut the motherfucker out, the police over there. No, they the right one. The fuck? Motherfuckers, right? Dude, she's the one. No, they the right one. You ain't gotta help me, cause you won't have to help me. Now, the wrong motherfuckers, right? Now look, check this out. The wrong motherfuckers, right? The wrong motherfuckers, right? You don't want to talk about revolution over there. Go over there. Check it out. Why you up here? Why you up here? Oh, that is beautiful. Now, thank you very much. This picture I made in my new background. Where's your this one, the one where we sat down and formed the line. Don't pull up hard. You got armor too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got armor too. Yeah. You got armor too. Yeah. 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 You got armor too. Yeah. Yeah. You got armor too. Yeah. 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 You got armor too. Yeah. Yeah. You got armor too. Oh, I ain't even trying to hear none of that shit. Oh, you not looking professional. Man, that's because, you know why? Because the, the professional looking motherfuckers don't stand out here and get PTSD and get fucked up with the crowd trying to film them. So don't tell me about acting professional. We just talking to America. But where he been all that damn night? Nowhere. He ain't been nowhere. Where else I'm he saying? Nowhere he was supposed to be. He's supposed to be. So I'm like, where you even been all night while we've been Patriarchy doing this shit? Patriarchy is a bitch. White supremacy gave black men patriarchy so they could feel better than somebody else and they don't know what to do with themselves. She like, anyway, back to what we was talking about. Real <laughs> talk. This is an example. This is an example of exactly what I'm talking about. I'm mad. I don't want to steal all of that. <laughs> Everybody in the stream saying he just ignorant. Somebody beat him up. Nah, ain't nobody gonna.
gonna do that. You know, if anything, they gonna they gonna try to talk to him because people understand the repressed aggression. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is you can't be attacking your community. Y'all understand that because y'all be on my Facebook and my Twitter and when I get mad, I get the flash and y'all be like, what the fuck, Bella? You know what I mean? So it's the same thing. It's a taste of my own medicine in some ways because I get upset, but I'm like, at the same time, you can't run up on my because you don't know and just get at him. I mean, I ain't. That's what we doing. We have to decompress. She turned. She turned. Don't act like you ain't. We're trying to decompress. No, I done went back to having a conversation. We're trying to decompress now. I'm done. And subtract ourselves from that situation. No, sir. Yes. That is my sister. Absolutely. Yes. But not what? In struggle. Yeah, we sisters in struggle. For sure. Well, that's a tear gas. And that's what happened. No, they're not doing tear gas. Today? Today. You ain't, did you get tear gas? But you know what? I filmed a lot of protests nah, where we got tear gas a lot. So I'm not about to run. I gotta, I gotta go through the stage. I'm very <clears throat> But the crazy part is, I'm an American citizen. I'm not. An MP. I'm, I'm not in a, No, I'm saying I'm not in the military. I've never been to war. I've been tear gassed in America. Well, you was, in, you was, you was right there when they threw it. You know? I've been tear gassed several right times there? before. This because is actually I the first time I. I have the right to assemble. What's that? And then they threw tear gas at it. Hey! What's that, bruh? It's not using too yeah. much authority. Shit, come out here. Because it's called foul. Bring it in. <laughs> How? I told you. They have, they have, they have the so this this conversation. Let's have this conversation right here. I have some questions for you. Oh, we breaking up. We breaking up. Um, so I missed like my flight. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Acceptable level of force to you, Gunna Fire? I'm asking. No, I'm asking. Well, it's why I'm asking. No, it's not, it's not acceptable. Okay. But it's for them defending their life too. Because oh, they, for so sure. here's my question. What are they defending them, their lives? For with? sure. The because I thought they did that on it. I'm so fucking excited to come back. I'm so excited to come back. You all, the protesters. You all, I was like, it might be a slightly different Bella when I got me all my own I was a full bottle of meat. I would get back to the bottle of water. It was throwing bottles. Plastic water. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, he's shooting with his fire tube. That's a... I didn't say anything like that. No, I'm asking you. It's their decision. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm asking you. I'm interviewing you right now. I'm asking you for your opinion on this. As a MP, mm -hmm. as yeah, yeah. an American citizen, is. as an American soldier, right? How do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel that they treated Americans? Yeah, my two cents. That's ain't on ops pro filming right there. If you want to switch over to his stream, I'm on the phone talking to Occupy the Mob. I'm sorry, you know I, I love my Oakland homie. Ain't on ops pro filming. What's that? Family, say it again. I understand. Say what we said so again. Again, my question is: Hello. As do an I American think it's right? And as an MP, as an American soldier, yeah, we both streaming the conversation. All right, for sure. I'm about to get a phone back. In war and in. All right, I'll see you later. Peace time. Like in foreign country. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely yeah. Like, okay. Calm you all down. So, no, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. They sent the they send the NG down here for for cops. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I feel like this. If I know they're gonna do, if I know they're gonna throw tear gas, I wouldn't be off. So wait, 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 wait. wait. If they did it more than one time, you wouldn't exercise your right. I would exercise my rights. Wait, wait, wait. The limits. military is supposed to be spreading democracy, but we can't. Protect democracy at home. So when you come back, you got the right. No, I'm real confused on that one. Real for real. Anything while I'm here. My badge doesn't mean anything to them police officers while I'm here. Why do you think I stay out their way? Oh, so because of police okay? violence, you don't you don't access your your constitutionally protected rights. Right. I access it. I don't fear anybody. Okay. I don't but you hold on. Yes, yes, you do because you said you won. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm sorry for touching you. You got offended. I walked over here one day by myself and I told them they're going to use legal force against us. I'm going to use my legal force back. Mm -hmm. And I had my M16 on my back and they know what it was. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to defend you all just like you are here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a protester. You know, I don't have to be here. I could be on the police side, but am I? I'm on you all side. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm, at, so I'm asking these questions to see exactly how you feel about it. Because you can feel how you want to feel. I'm not attacking you by any means. Well, it is to protect the citizens. But, but not on their own soil. Ah! It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be to protect us from terrorists, domestic and foreign. And that's correct? what we are here to do. So if the no, police come home, but if the police to my state, you're a citizen too. I'm a citizen. I'm not. I'm not in another country. No, 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 no. I'm. I, I'm not talking about you because I understand oh. that you're home. Oh. But what I'm saying is that, um, if the military were to come, and these are American citizens mm -hmm. who are accessing their right to free speech and they're demanding justice, which is their right. Mm -hmm is not the only role of the military to protect the citizens if the police are violently oppressing the citizens who are well within their rights. But at that point, are the police not the domestic terrorists? <laughs> Personally, <laughs> I can tell you like this. If the military was to come down here, they did. Well, they, were well, well they, they weren't on the streets. But they were here. They were here, but they, they were weren't here. on the streets. And I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, but what is Kent State? I was just about to say that. The, the, the school ain't the street, shooting. but they shot we'd them goddamn dead. students. We'd have been shot dead in the streets in our own. The school is not the street, but they got they shot them students. Here real quick. So last night when Captain Johnson came out here, who was the Missouri Highway the Patrol, State Patrol yep. Captain, I know he came man. out Guys. discussing the five second rule that has been illegally enforced. Never but that's not that's not that's, no, not, that's not in the daytime though. Hold on a second. What does that have to do? Free speech got a time limit? I understand that. And you all let them do that. Do free speech got a time limit? We question them. We ask them why. We I'm not I'm not saying I'm not no I'm not saying I'm not saying like that like you all question them. I'm saying I'm saying like like you all get scared. When the police come, like because the they kill people. <laughs> 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 I I but, but you all complaining about your legal rights. You have the legal right to stand up against the police officers. And that's why I'm here, and I'm ready. To but they will arrest. And them lawsuits right there. You all have to. But wait, 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 wait. We gotta depend on the Department of Justice, which is actively not enforcing. The, the, our protection that we're supposed to have, like the Department of Justice, is not holding the police department accountable. They not holding Darren Wilson accountable. But we supposed to count on them to provide justice for us in a lawsuit when they're allowing the police to continue to oppress people violently. You see what I'm saying? Like that? That's not a system that works. So it's like that's. It's not a system that works. This is the best that they can do because they will literally shoot them. They have. They, 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 they already have, so you can't say that. They have literally already done that. Who has like, not like, been like shot? The boy was shot. That's why we're here. They shot someone. No, 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 no
the reporting killing. I don't know if my stream wants to watch this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They're so saying a lot of things, like, from the <laughs> like this is a live trip. What they say? It's not. Leave the chills come behind. <laughs> There's a lot of that going on in my vein right now. Uh, they're just simply saying that you kind of like refuse to understand and that it's a lost cause and this is like discussing things with the troll in life. Real life trolls. Guys, I had a real life troll today. I went to the, listen, I went to the St. Louis County Council meeting Tuesday at 6 p.m. in Clayton, Missouri. And the woman got up there explaining that she wanted to support the law and support the people that uphold the law. And she wanted to pay attention to innocent until proven guilty. So my response to her rant to the council was, what about the dead black boy in the street? You know, she responded to me and said, this white woman, shut up. The bitch told me to shut up after I saw her that innocent until proven guilty applies to both the officer and the person that he shot. Can I ask a question, though? Like, how do you feel? I mean, this is my personal opinion, right? But uh, do you agree that it's not a justice system, it's a hostage and ransom system. Because before we ever deal with issues of innocence or guilt, so you are taken and put in jail, and then they demand a but monetary compensation for your release so that we can get to the issue of innocence look, or guilt. You can look at it as both a hostage and a, uh, ransom situation. You can also look at it as it's a prison system. It's not a justice system, it is a prison system. Oh, yeah. In the Constitution, slavery was made legal through prisons. That is why the school to prison and pipeline. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, the school to prison pipeline is so high for blacks because there's a war on blackness. I don't care who says it doesn't exist. I'm here. I know it does exist. There's a war on our blackness. There's a school to prison pipeline. Everything results in prison. The war on drugs resulted in all of us going to prison. They take our voting rights after we go to prison, after they've thrown us in prison for miscellaneous shit, dumb shit, non-violent shit. That is what the system is. Not a justice system, it's a prison system, Let me tell a slavery you something. system. Let me tell you something. My cousin went to jail for the same amount of time selling weed that Johannes Meserly got for shooting Oscar Grant, handcuffed Damn. face down on the ground. That's yes, all I'm saying. That's what I'm so talking motherfuckers want to tell me it ain't a race That's issue. what I'm talking about. A couple weeks ago, my brother, not far from here, he got pulled out of his car, held at gunpoint, put on the ground, arrested. He, you know, he wasn't read his rights, lost his job, and they're like, oh, my we, dad, we were looking, right, we were person, looking for someone. Yeah. Like, my you fault, called, you weren't that. You've already started a cycle that has been going on and with now, blacks that is causing them to decline. Because all us niggas look alike. Exactly. And you know that? That's what it is. Right. We all look alike. Monkey. Oh, you fit the description. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, real talk. It's not a justice system. There's no justice If y'all get a chance, if y'all get a chance, on my YouTube, you know, if you just put Bella Echo mm -hmm. in the Google and then say, and then say Walking Wild Black, mm -hmm. I shot a video. It was, we had a protest with Alan Bluford's parents who, uh, he was the one I was telling y'all about. Miguel Masso shot him and shot himself in the foot. So we had a protest where um, Alan Bluford's parents brought these big ass pink slips that they had made and they were demanding that Howard Jordan and the officer that shot, uh, his name is Miguel Masso, that shot Alan Bluford, be terminated, right? Quick reminder to the public, uh -huh. Darren Wilson is still on paid leave. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, girl. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that is mind. definitely a well-known fact. <laughs> so right when we left there, it, it's like we got a plaza, right? So it's like on the corner of the plaza, there's this coffee shop, and it's called Awaken Cafe. Mm -hmm. So we went over there to go get coffee, and I got my dog, so I couldn't go in. Right. And I was smoking a cigarette, sitting outside with my iPad. Mind you, I was just streaming the event like I'm doing here. Right. And I'm sitting outside smoking do? a cigarette, right, and my friend Courtney, who's the mod in Canada, mm -hmm. she uh, went in to get a coffee, ca and when she came outside, these black boys was walking in front of me, and the police was driving this way and slammed on the brakes hell hard and looked hard than a motherfucker. And I and they stopped and looked, because you know we black. You guys look this way. Right. And so I was like, I said, they just walking while black. They didn't do nothing. It's cool. You know what I mean? And they looked at me, and they went, I know, right? Like they had a, we had a moment. We had that moment. Like, you know sorry. What I'm it came out, we got to right. let it pass. Right, so Go we ahead. right. So we had that moment. I'm telling you, when I tell you the police officer slammed on his brakes, hit a U-turn, bounced down. Get on the ground. Get on the doing. ground. You see what I'm saying? Walking while black. Look for it on no. YouTube and you will fucking see. When I tell you, I was just in North St. Louis City today. Sixth District, St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. I'm riding down the street. Well, I'm parked actually on the side of the street. I'm about to pull off. 
The police. She's come like, oh my down god, the, the two boys. The police come down the street. There are um, about five black males, younger, sitting on the front porch. They slammed on their brakes so hard, like I had to tweet it. I was like, look, Sixth District just hopped down on a bunch of black males, and today's the day that ends in Y and water is wet. Cause that's what <laughs> happens. That's our reality, and people are trying to tell us, well, it can't be that bad. You're not going gross. through this shit every day. We do this shit every day. Day. Every fucking day and nobody cares. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to hear us. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to listen to us. They want to tell us, let it go. It's not that Hold bad. Up. Don't be a criminal. You don't know how much shit I got about my language because I was there and I'm like, what the fuck, motherfuck this? I don't give a fuck. All that. I but because no they right. want to pay attention to my language and no ignore right. the reason why I'm so upset that I can't find any other word but fuck shit ass damn nation. all that. You know what I mean? We are righteously right. upset. It, right. Like this is real shit. We have a reason to be mad. And people trying to tell us, oh, calm down. You're not being logical. Let this shit happen to you. I bet you turn the fuck up. I bet you they turn up. Turn the fuck up. I'm not wrong for turning up. I'm mad. Yeah. I have every right to be mad. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to stay mad. And until everybody else gets mad, right. that's when some shit's going to change. But stuff, stuff is changing. Did you see where Mashan students did that protest? Yep, against their teachers. Mashan students in the city, they protested because they weren't getting the right education. Because our they public needed. school They were getting poor shit. education. And then the principal resigned, right? Ever since integration, right? Did the again. Did the principal resign? I don't know what it is. I think the something yeah, happened please. with the principal. But they're, they're winning their All protest. The Nothing but, but we're leading that. They have a school full of substitutes, and they were like, right. We just want to learn. Like, Hashtag hey, turn the fuck up. <laughs> Go on, Rise PDX. Thank you. <laughs> They just want to learn, like these black yeah. kids, they just want to learn. That And if that wasn't me, that came out of Oregon. Hashtag turn the fuck up. See, look, I'm telling you right now, many of the people that are watching this also were watching the day that I streamed that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens so much. That it, it don't even day. it's crazy there are two americas if and nobody wants to believe it no. there's a white america there's a black america we are second class citizens we've never been more than three-fifths of a person to these people literally we've never been more than three-fifths of a person they're still showing us every fucking day my every you know day. you know what really showed it to me is obama's first uh address. address when he said that there was never a reason to like fight law enforcement i said wait 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 wait, wait, wait hold on and then he said that, uh, it was never a reason to fight law enforcement and we need to restore Ferguson to uh, peace. Yes. And I said, wait, 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 hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. I said, wait, 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 wait. So what you just told me was you want to restore to the same peace he was shot under. So mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up, exactly. nigga, right. and know your motherfucking exactly. place. That's and we going to have Uncle Tom tell you that today. shit. Because like this lady, she's I know like, I've been saying this for yeah, hell long. Like, she's like, That's what we I just want Ferguson too. to go back the way it was. And I was like, that Ferguson was good to you. That Ferguson that you wanted to go back to was good for you. It wasn't good for everyone else. So everyone rallying for change, obviously something wasn't right for them to change. Y'all don't see it. Exactly. Like, you don't see it. Well, I was gonna say that I definitely appreciated this entire conversation. I feel like it was educational. I think yeah. that people who are suffering from white supremacy or have reform clogging their judgment should definitely uh, check this, this particular link out. Um, I feel like it was a very enlightening conversation with some young black individuals who are definitely uh, passionate and educated about the issues that are affecting their communities. To try to degrade them and say that they are um, not educated or not employed, etc. They're doing their job right now by holding the government accountable and demanding justice and demanding access to their rights as citizens. So anything else in the way of criticism is null and void, is fucking um, irrelevant, and uh, really the attention just lets us know that we're doing something right. So, you know, I kick the trolls out because I want to pay attention to the comments of the people that support us. Um, but it's like that type of ignorance is, is everywhere. And like when they're around, it kind of makes me happy, even though I, I, try, I have a hard time not feeding them. Um, because I know it's like it's the other side of I'm doing something right. Haters only hate when they see you doing good. That's it. That's it. Period. You know what I mean? And just like the man from the military could not address the questions, he could not answer them. You see what I'm saying? It lets you know that these are very straightforward questions. You could just come out and tell us the answer. It's okay. We big boys. We big girls. You know what I'm saying? I got my big girl panties on. I can handle it. You know what I'm saying? 
um, we done been shot with tear gas, dragged through the street, you know, uh, um, oppressed systemically for hundreds of years. I mean, if that's just the truth of what the world is, just say that shit. Just say it. Stop making us live with the illusion of democracy, because that's not what this is. This is not a democratic nation. It's not, because we still have the muted voices of people of color, primarily indigenous and African-American, right? And then we have the class issue. They're like, oh, don't forget, we still hate you broke, motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Oh, and we hate you more if you support the niggas. Don't get it twisted. That's why his white privilege only goes so far. You see what I'm saying? Because he out here visibly with us. So as long as the other white people know, they're not going to give him the same type of shit that they would give us. Although he might not be arrested as violently, but maybe he might because he's spreading the word to everybody else with history. You, see, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, it's problematic, because, and that's why it's intersectional. But it's like a lot of people's white privilege, even though it's like they coming from a good place, it's kind of innocent because they're ignorant. You know what I mean? And, and we got to understand that ignorance is kind of innocent when it's not voluntary. You know what I mean? So it's like when they have the white privilege and they don't understand this shit, but they're like, oh, it's a human issue. It's not a race issue. Like, you got to open your eyes. We're not saying it's not a human issue. What we're saying is that you got to allow us to have the argument about race, because if you don't allow us to have that, we'll never c effectively combat the class issue because we'll right. be too segregated. Right. You know what I mean? You have to talk exactly. About exactly. Have to talk about exactly. That. And so that's why I'm like, I'm not. And it kills me because as a people that have been subjected to racism, to where we definitely understand that we're second class citizens, it's like if we mention it, then we racist. Right. Exactly. We, we're not even allowed to acknowledge the oppression that we live under or else we're criticized for that. But it's just candid, it's candid conversation, honestly. And, and a person I was talking to, a, a, a white lady I was talking to, an older white lady, she was like, she feels that if she is out seen around protests or anything she's seen as a racist automatically i'm like no that's not true you're not seen as a racist automatically there's white people out here right now right that's in your mind exactly so the only problem is in your mind exactly. there's no problem with us we exactly have candy conversations about what's going on and that is going to lead to reform and change exactly. because we're going to understand where each other are coming from exactly but you can't just say oh i feel like i'm a racist just because you have no proof about that i mean i don't even know dj what type of conversation we can have about the fact that they're charging 135 dollars what is it, an hour to process um is it? yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's what they're charging for the freedom of information act so when mainstream media is requesting information under the freedom of, of information Act from the Ferguson Police Department. Um, they're being charged like $135. I mean, it, wow. so it's funny. It's like the freedom of information, but you got to pay for that shit. Right. So once right. again, systemically, as African American people who are who are statistically kept in the lower ranks and not paid enough to like actually survive and save a little money, like we can't even access the freedom of yeah. information because right. it costs money. You know what I mean? So it's like we we like I said, we cannot effectively combat capitalism and class issues if we do not first pay attention and truly work on some solution for the race issues in this country. I mean, and I'm very passionate about that opinion. I understand that other people have other opinions, but typically the people who have other opinions are extremely brainwashed or not black. So, right. you know, I, I you. right, you know, that's just where kind of where I come from. Yeah. They asking me to ask you about that, but it's just like that's my perspective on it. I really don't know how much else we can say about it, you know what I mean? What, what was his question again? He was asking, like, how do you feel, or what are your thoughts, or just just basically general the generally surrounding the fact that they are charging uh, media for to access information under the Freedom of Information Act as it pertains specifically to the Ferguson protest and what's going on with Darren Wilson and Mike Brown. That's the most ironic. I can't even think of words fast enough to explain how I feel about that. Like, so the very name of it is so misleading and wrong. Like free information you know what i'm saying like like this is this is public information right that you're holding you're holding the info you're not only holding people hostage you're holding the information hostage exactly. you know what i'm saying so it's like okay we're gonna charge we're gonna first we're gonna take away your rights we're gonna make up phony rules bullshit ass rules we're gonna make you keep walking we're gonna arrest you if you don't if you stop walking then we're gonna charge you a thousand dollars to get out of jail right if they were going to charge you a hundred and what, one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and thirty-five dollars, I believe it is, hour for that, no one has that money. No, no one has that money. A lot of these people are homeless and jobless because they feel so strongly about this. They are out here every night, and it's not because they don't want to work. It's because this is so. This is pressing on their heart so strong. Uh, this is more important than ten to fifteen dollars an hour. Exactly. It's more important exactly. than that because a black life is worth more than that. But it seems yeah. like we kind of are some of the only people to understand it. 
Yeah, I mean, and even the ones that are that are employed, like, I mean, I'm employed, but I'm coming out here in every spare moment that I have. Everyone's coming out here in their spare moments, and it's like it's it's gas money. It, it, people are using their resources, even you streaming, like you're using resources, you know, and to charge them that much for that. Yeah, if I can, if I got time before a, I leave my flight. Like, that, oh, that whole thing's a lie. My, I gotta board my plane. It, I can't Do miss not miss another time. flight. I can't miss it. Oh, you you better not miss flights. another flight. I miss it, and I'm, that's why I'm here tonight. I was supposed to leave today. Well, she missing on purpose. She loves us. I do love y'all. I love y'all. If y'all follow my Facebook and my Twitter, you already. I am coming back. It's not, that's official. That's regardless of everything. I don't even care because <laughs> I'm like y'all. I, I don't give a fuck. Right. I'm so sick of this shit. And it's not even about me just being sick of it. It's the fact that my son is one years old and he three feet tall. So 10 years old, he want to go play outside and put a hoodie on. You going to shoot it? He is Mike Brown. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And Trayvon. And Trayvon Martin. That's something that, that you can't understand as a black mom. That's a conversation. If you if you're a black if you're a black mom, you understand you have to have that conversation with your kids. Right. Because all right, love. Y'all be safe. Can y'all put out a tweet when y'all get home just so people know y'all safe? I got one more thing. Um... Be easy, be safe out here, guys. What the fuck was we just talking about? What was he just saying? The charging for the information. No, no, no. Like, we're right here, we just... Uh, what were we just talking about? <laughs> we tired. Right now, right there, right now, real quick, you walked up and said something. I don't even know shit. But I'm tired now. Tired y'all. Tired y'all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Moms. Okay, so look, wait, wait, wait. Please, I know y'all about to leave. Just wait one second. Okay, so in California... So what I'm saying is chivalry. I'm sorry. Okay, this is it. Then we go home. Everybody go home. Okay, look. So chivalry, and this is my personal opinion as a black woman from the other coast, right? Um, it, it's kind of dead over there. And here, like y'all are a lot more chivalrous just as, as men. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if y'all think that's a joke, then don't come together. But um, no, no, the men are a lot more chivalrous here. Exactly. But wait a minute. Never need to go to Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. These niggas better than them. Wait. And so. Chivalrous niggas. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know what you mean, nigga. I done said let's go four, five times. Wait. 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 Let me. Let me think. Can I make? Wait. No. Cause I'm. I'm bringing it. I am bringing it back. All right. You too. Have a good night. I'm bringing it back, okay, because like when I first got here, I was asked, um, how do I feel about the men telling the women to step right, back, cool. you know what I'm saying, so that they can protect the women. Now, I, well, I, 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 I want to make my point, you know, real quick. Oh, it's not real quick, but you know, I'm going to make it. Um, and so this is, a, I got a couple of opinions on that because I, I respect men who want to protect the women who are the life givers Absolutely. and continue and will continue, you know, you know what I'm saying? And will continue to produce the children that will, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That will keep us alive, that for real. That keep, that keep, keep a carry on our fight, exactly. Mm -hmm. I also understand, as a mother, I don't even know how old you are, but when I look at you, I see my son. And ain't nobody gonna fight as hard as me for my son. You understand what I'm saying? Right and so it's like, on the other hand, as a feminist, as a exactly. radical feminist, exactly. you know what I'm saying? But a radical black feminist, mm -hmm. which is different. Let's not very get that different. shit twisted. Very different. Different. Which is different. You struggle that women and black women, Go especially fast. Right, so let's not get that twisted. But as a black feminist mm -hmm. and a black mom, mm -hmm. I also understand women saying, Hold on, you gotta allow me the right to fight for my baby. Exactly. Because you somebody, baby, and right now in this instance, when I look at you, I think of my baby. So we one in the same. So those are my two opinions on that. My question is, as both black women in the movement on the front line, and the black men in the movement on the line, how do y'all feel about that? Let me go. Let me go first and get okay. mine out of the way. Okay. Okay. Because uh, because I am one of those men who are very happy because I have my best friend Alexa here and I, I love her to death. I, I give my life for her in an instant. And um, <laughs> as, 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 yeah, as a man, you you good, like, man. you you you're happy to say I since I take however many bullets they got for you, but at the same time, some of these black women have more heart and more strength than some of the so-called men who will sit on this lot and leave them alone on the floor. 
front lines. Oh, yeah. Most, most of You mean the ones that are ready? Ready. Shut up, sister. And it's like, I respect that because no matter what the age, when a woman is out here saying that our, our young black men are being killed, it awakens that spirit of a lioness within them. So it's at the same time, I want to protect my women, but I never want to overshadow them because they have that spirit to fight and lead, and they are the ones leading out here. So at the same time, I give them their space to showcase their strength and be strong because we need that. At the end of the day, I'm right there next to them. Right I don't on. have to stand in front of you, sister, because you were just as strong as everybody else on this right front on. line. And I've been really conflicted about that, too, because okay. women and children are always my partner. So I'm like, got to get the women out of here. got to get the women safety. But hell, if these other brothers ain't ready for the come down like some of these sisters are my sisters, you can gladly stand next to me as we fight the enemy. We need all the people we can get. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, cool. You got two minutes. I'm with him. You got two minutes. What he said. What, what he said. Right on. Yeah. Right on. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna piggyback on that thing. You okay. Know what I'm because I, I said a long time ago that women have been the driving force behind this movement. And really, mm -hmm. every movement that's happened in this country, really. Yes. I know we have those, you know, prominent men as the faces of those women. So behind can you speak men, up so I can get this image right here while you're talking? I, say, I, I know we have men as prominent faces of all these different movements that's happened, especially as far as civil rights is concerned and all that. But at the same time, it was women pushing them. You know what I'm saying? It was women doing the organizing. It was women getting the people together. It was women that's taking care of people that were, that were down. You know what I'm saying? Right, exactly, doing this, you know, this, this what they do. Like she said, when, like you said, when you see us out here, exactly. it's in you inherently to want to take care of us and make sure that we're taking care of it and just, you know, care for us. Uh -huh. <laughs> and as a man, it should be inherent, but it's not, that we want to protect y'all, you know what I'm saying? But uh, a prime example, and you can ask, you know, either one of these ladies, how disgusted I was uh -huh. one night when we were out here, one day we, we, we cut down, we, we shut down the street or whatnot. It was me and like two other men and like six or seven women out in the street. Mm -hmm. But it was like 30 men on the sidewalk though. You know what I mean? Watching, you know. So I was just so, so disgusted because I'm like, why are we letting them be out here in, in harm's way? Mm -hmm. Like we afraid to get arrested. Cause that's the most that's gonna happen. You get arrested, you might get your head busted, which has happened to all of us. Exactly. It we be willing to, to bust uh, each other head right. over less exactly. shit. Right, right. Over exactly. Less. Exactly. But I mean in particular by right. the police. Right, right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you in St. Louis, it's just part and parcel of being from out here. It happens. You get your head busted over a traffic violation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So my my I just couldn't understand the fear, you know, and so and even in that situation, I was so disgusted they had to walk away from all the protesters and kind of just be in my own zone, just trying to you know get myself recentered. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I was ready to just confront every man out here. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? But we need so we then, need less animosity here. While so I'm I back here, right. while I'm back here trying to get my mind right, here comes somebody saying, "Oh, such and such," talking about um, uh, Alexis and Brittany about to fight such and such, which was a man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so I have to run across the lot to see them in this heated argument with this grown man. He being hostile as hell. That's already wrong. But they were surrounded by men who weren't saying anything. Mm -hmm. They're just letting him talk to them crazy. Mm -hmm. Go right to the strongest sisters out of her. Who will be he old as hell. He yeah. didn't even be talking to them like that. He old as hell. You know what I'm saying? So when I first came over, Alexis was like, it's cool, it's cool, we got this. And I know her and Brittany can handle their own. You Any know what day. I'm saying? So Any it is what it is. Day. So I was like, okay, I'm going to fall back for a second. So I falls back. Again, here comes somebody. He go, yeah, it's escalating. So again, I have to run all the way across the lot and basically walk this nigga off the premises. You know what I'm saying? Shut because up. he was still turning up with these women. And I was, I was irate because I'm like, how are you going to talk to these women in such a way We're trying to protect your ass you know what i'm saying to where they are the ones out here holding us down like these women have been holding us down from the beginning mm -hmm. and, and without without prompting like we didn't we didn't ask you know i need you to be here for me i need you to do this net they just stepped into this role naturally seamlessly and perfectly and you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, and exactly. they, they just did what they do. But at the same time, we got to pump and prime these men. Come on, y'all, get out here in the front line. Come on, get in front of these women. Come on, do this net. But these women, just, they just out here. And they've gotten to the point where they don't even want the men to be like to take bullets for them because they've already feeling appreciated. And that hurts me because those are some of my best friends. 
Right. I mean, I, I, per, I personally, as a man, I was taught to protect women. Damn like, right. Protect women. Don't matter what it is, you protect them. You exactly. know. And I got strong ass sisters, so they right. they don't they like hey let me be independent, which I respect yeah. that. Right. Exactly. So like my first instinct is. I don't want y'all to be up front. You know what I'm saying? I want to protect y'all. Let me protect y'all. And That's of course, the same word. thing. It's like, y'all, women are like, I want to be up here because like you said, like I look at, you look at him mm -hmm. like, hey, I see my son, that could be my son. And so like, I try to give, like like the brother said, like I try to give women the space, but at the same time, I try to be ahead mm -hmm. where I can see danger coming. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, men, mm -hmm. right. normally men are taller, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I see myself as a protector. I mean, just naturally. Know? Let's just keep yeah. it 100. It's, just it's, like, it's, not, it's not a sexist or a thing to say. Naturally, men are just bigger and stronger than women. Right. Point blank, period. That is so, you know what I'm saying? I would that rather put that being the case. I mean, have, I don't see some big bitches. But we, you know, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you're right, right, right. On an average basis. But the exception is not the rule. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, we have a responsibility. Like that first night that they tear gas, right? <laughs> I had two of my sisters out here. And I'm seeing the I'm seeing the tear gas. Everything's in slow motion to me. Yeah. And I'm seeing them run in front of me. And I'm like, okay, I know I can run faster than them. So let me run behind them and make sure that they are cool. If no, I don't want nobody to fall or anything. And that's the same with whoever was around me. Mm -hmm. But it's like that's the kind of idea that I have out at the protest when it's dangerous stuff. It's like mm -hmm. I wanna be and it's not right. that we you know, think I'm that, not that, out here every day, but... Oh, no, they don't. Because, I mean, look at, look at these women. Look, yeah, you know we saying? got one, you but... You know what I'm saying? Look at these women. Obviously, they can hold their own. Right. But Otherwise, that's not the would, point. We, yeah. we, we were not together, supposed to have they, to. Exactly. They shouldn't exactly. have to hold their own. We shouldn't have to. And it shouldn't Damn, a real woman can do it by herself, but a real man won't. Won't let her. You will not let me do it by myself. Won't let you do it. Just won't let you do it. I love it. So I got y'all three Twitters because it's like, please get Twitters, get Twitters, get Twitters. That's what's going on. And they live like, we love this. This is epic. We love this. We're putting them in the loop. Dread Hampton. Oh, you Dread Hampton? At D R E D or D R E A D? D R E A D H A M P T O N. D R E A D H A M P T O N. Dread Hampton. Dread Hampton is in the police dread my ass because I'm focused. They dread to see you coming. That was a good cut. That was a good cut. And you on Twitter? Dell D E L L M A J 7 T H. Dell Major 7. Okay, so one more time. D E L L M A J 7 T H. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It'll, it, it'll be recorded, so even if they can't catch it right now, they'll go back and get it. All right. Thank y'all. Hey, I definitely appreciate the conversation tonight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. Go. Closing arguments, we didn't all say bye. It's beautiful. Oh, okay, I want it. Go ahead. Never mind. No, 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 no. No. We want to hear from the women. It was a question about women being empowered. Don't feel like we don't want to hear from you. I'm be camera shy. I'm ready to that camera hit it. I'm All right. I mean, I have my thoughts together. But you know what I'm saying? Are you ready to get together? I mean, the light is rather bright. You know I do. Okay, it's hold on. Intense. I might be able to do something about that. Hold on. You better? Does that work? Can you still? Yeah, there's a light right here. CNN, Al PBS. You hella a hater. on every channel. You hear me? Cut my hair. You hear me? Stand with me, bro. I'm not this too much. Mind your business. So as a woman in the movement, I, as a woman, I never even came into the moment like I'm gonna be a black woman representing in the movement. The movement. I came because I'm a black person. I'm a person. I am a woman. And I'm a human, and I care about this happening on my street. I used to live in Ferguson. I used to walk down that same street illegally or whatever the hell they want to call it, jaywalking, whatever, and I had no problem. So why in 2014, 10 years later, from when I was walking on them streets, is this boy getting gunned down? You know what I'm saying? So that affects me. The fact that one day I'ma birth some big, black, beautiful black babies. babies. Right. That affects me because my husband is gonna be a big black, black man. Babies. And I don't want to see my husband, my kids, my nobody laying on the street for four and a half hours like an animal. Right. Um, so that affects me the most. I didn't notice anything about being a woman in the movement 
I'm not even, a, I don't classify myself as a feminist. Mm -hmm. I don't even say I'm an activist. Mm -hmm. I don't say nothing. Me neither. Exactly. Because I'm a citizen. I'm just I just live here. You know what I'm saying? Right. St. Louis. I'm going to talk about I love my city. So how on earth could I say I love my city and then my city is up in flames and, and I'm, I'm not there? So Look, I'm using what I have. <laughs> To Look at get the shit. story out. I only had Twitter. Ten I had like 3,000 followers. I had Instagram with like 1,000 followers and Tumblr that I never ever used. I went to Ferguson with what I had. And this is what you can see. Armed with our smartphones. Right. So. <laughs> they asking for your Twitter when you finish. It's Netta. Netta. Y'all know who that is. Y'all know who that is. It's 8A. Y'all don't know who that is. 8A, 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 8A. Oh, we finally got a number on the amount of A. <laughs> Eight. There's eight A's. Netta with eight A's. Because when you see me, that's what you say. Netta. Netta. So, um, no, but I didn't come out here to be no a classified role in the movement. Okay. I didn't even think this was going to be a movement. I came out here with just hoping that people would be interested that this has happened in St. Louis. And the we can't let America. it be a Trayvon Martin. We can't let it be a Jordan Davis. We can't let it be a Troy Davis. We can't let it be a Ezel Ford. We can't let it be a, a Kajimi Powell. Kajimi right. Powell happened right after. Uh, I, I, I right didn't know I was going to be here today. I did ask if some live streamers could go over to his memorial site. I'm going to still try to work with them to get that done, too, because I it's ain't really beautiful. hear a lot about him. You know? You know what I mean? And then we can't allow this to be swept under the carpet. And anymore. then this black man, he's, he looked behind him to make so sure that people, that people were there. in the line of fire and moved he to let them himself. shoot him. He, he moved right. out of the people way of the people. people he looked that. behind him so the that people eyes. were in his line of fire, Bruh. moved and smooth. got killed. Like, like it was, it, that's, he that's did that. Me up. He sacrificed you know himself. He, he saved other people for himself. He, know, he knew they were going to shoot him. He knew they were going to kill him. They didn't, they, they, he knew for a fact they was, they was going to shoot him. So he, he moved out the way so that other people wouldn't be shot. Y'all like, should y'all should look up his story. Um, are you it's glad that it's turning people. into a movement? I mean, it's, it's I am. Into I am. I, want I mean, I'm just asking. I want everything. You know, to, I want to everyone to be inspired by Ferguson and make your own city something. Like people be keep coming active. here, be and that's great. And I reactive. love it because we, we need help. But what y'all need to do, like in Ohio with John right. Crawford, how is Ohio still standing? You know right. what I'm saying? They gave y'all the no indictment. We don't even have that yet. We're waiting. Okay. Right. Y'all got it. In Ohio, is still there. Okay. So I'm not saying you can turn all the way up. Shut your mouth, shit. I'm just confused and I'm amazed that no one has, you know, done anything. Yeah. But just protest and change Listen, or whatever. That's what I'm saying. If y'all kill my son, y'all go ahead and protest. Okay. I'm right, fucking shit up. Y'all go ahead. Because I know my mama would have did that. I'm like, y'all catch son? me burning some shit down. Y'all ain't got to protest. All, that's shit. all I'm saying. Don't protest shit for me. I'm burning yeah. everything. I know, I, don't, I give no fuck. No son, if you way, kill my baby, it's son. going down. Yeah. yeah. Know that. But if you kill him, be ready. Be ready. Real tough. Be ready. I had my son right, yet, but if you murder him, be ready. Well, right. shit, I have had mine. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> fuck with mine. That's you know, no, fuck with mine. You know, you know what I'm talking about? I love y'all, man. Good night. If I don't get to say bye to y'all, I'm still going to be on Twitter anyway. I'm bugging the shit out of you because I'm not here. Y'all all right? What's going on? I'm going to be on the live stream telling A9 and them, go fucking tell them I said hi. I love y'all. All right. Good night, y'all. Bye.